what is up everyone welcome back to another video on my channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how to get anywhere from 1080p to 4k resolution video clips using geforce experience or shadow play as a lot of people call it and i'm going to show you how to install how to configure everything best settings and essentially everything that you would need to know as well as explaining fully in depth the entire software while being short and concise let's just immediately get into the video So the first thing that you're going to want to go ahead and do, if you guys already have GeForce Experience, I'm going to show you how to do that, but first I'll show you how to install if you do not have it. So you're going to go ahead on Google Chrome and just search in GeForce Experience install, and you're going to come to this website, download GeForce Experience slash NVIDIA, and it's going to take you to this site, and you can look through all this if you want. But um, go ahead and then press download and once you download it's obviously going to install on your computer and Just pretty much open it up just like you would literally any other software It's nothing really fancy and once all that's done Just go ahead and then search in GeForce experience. This is what will be popping up This is kind of the list of your games that you have installed and also when I first installed I didn't get this screen if you're not getting this screen that means that most likely you're not signed in you're gonna need to instead of signing in with geforce you need to go on uh another web page you need to go to like the official nvidia website you need to create an account there and then sign in with your nvidia account i don't know why it's like that it just is so uh for me I, let's just say fortnite uh i'll go in here and essentially this is all of the settings that you can optimize with your graphics driver that would be good that would kind of improve the game quality uh, so if you click optimize or something like that, it essentially just, it, it pretty much optimizes your game settings. So now we get to the actual juicy stuff, the one that we have all been waiting here to do, and that is our shadow play in-game overlay. So for me, I have an NVIDIA RTX 2080, which is a really good graphics card. Essentially, you're just going to want to update your graphics driver every time it comes out, which isn't hard at all. But now we can go ahead and click this button right here. Now that button is going to open this up, which is our actual clipping slash recording software and everything. So for me to record my desktop, I use OBS. For screen recordings, I'll just sometimes use that like built-in Xbox game bar. And then for my in-game recording of, um, let's say Valorant, if I decide to play that ever again, <laughs> or Fortnite or something like that, I'll just use this. So I'll take you through all of these settings, but first you want to make sure that every time you're trying to get a clip for a montage, you don't want to have this recording, you don't want to record to in case get a clip, you want to have instant replay on, and what that does is it's pretty much a keybind that allows you to replay, let's say the last minute or something, and it'll clip the last minute, which is extremely useful if you like accidentally get like a, a trick shot or something, you want to clip it. And the record feature obviously records. So the next thing, so Alt F1 will screenshot, and this is pretty much all we need to know right now. If you go in your settings, it'll show you all of these, but I'm going to run you through the important ones because other than that, this can be a little bit overwhelming at first. For recordings, that's the first thing you're going to want to click on. Uh, it's going to show your file, like it's going to show the location where your recordings are stored. If you don't like that, just make sure that instant replay is actually turned off. And then you can go ahead and then change these certain settings. So that's the recording. Uh, the next thing that you should probably do is go to your HUD layout and make sure everything right here uh all of these four are set to off otherwise there's going to be a bunch of like uh just stuff in your screen which can get really distracting and annoying so just make sure everything is turned off and that is all you need to worry about for that keyboard shortcuts it's honestly personalized for you so for instant replay i will go ahead and then just press Control alt and c and that saves the last one and one third minutes recorded pretty much which is just like a clip and then alt and f9 is like my actual recording if i want to record something in game like for content or something like that then that's how i'll record I don't broadcast using this, so I don't need to- you, you shouldn't need to worry about this. I recommend broadcasting using Streamlabs or OBS. And then custom overlays is kind of just a custom overlay. <laughs> 
And now our audio, and this is going to be one of the greatest components that you're going to find because this is going to allow you to do so many things in post-production. Like for an example, if you're if you, if you're talking through your microphone, but someone talks over you in game or something, you could switch around the positions of your microphone, and it's really good. Uh, you have these different plugins right now. So right now I have Voice Mod installed, which is a voice changer. If you guys didn't know, and I can choose to one of these. I recommend having your microphone on, uh, like your regular one, all the time. And then your volume and boost, you can adjust to specify. For me, I usually talk quieter. I'm not a very loud person in, in general. So I have my mic volume, I have my mic volume 100 and my boost on 10. Obviously, it's customizable for your certain microphone, but you can do whatever you'd like there. And now the most important, one of the most important features in this, like I was speaking about earlier, create a single track versus create separate both tracks so a single track would pretty much record it would take your microphone recording and your game recording and it mash it all into one which you wouldn't really want that's that's not as near as good separate both tracks is hands down what you want it allows you to adjust the uh, it allows you to adjust the microphone volume and the game volume separately. So if your mic is super loud, but your game is quieter, you can adjust that with ease and it's a very good feature. Now to our next most important feature, actually recording the capture instant replay highlights in this, ladies and gentlemen, is where you can get the 4K resolution. So instant replay length, um, pretty much what this is gonna do, the slider first up here, this will say right here, you can record the last 15 seconds and I'll show the estimated file size. Uh, and you can record, you can, you can pretty much record all the way up to 20 minutes. So if you guys want to record that for, for like a Valorant round, if you want to record like the first half or something, you could go to 20 minutes, but for Fortnite, like a battle royale. So 30 seconds should be the minimum, nothing lower than that. And then nothing above two minutes because that's excessively long for a clip and don't have anything under 30 seconds, otherwise you might like miss your opportunity to capture it. So for me, I have a minute and 30, which works pretty well for me. Your frame rate, um, if, if you wanna record high level uh, video footage, make sure that this is on 60 FPS. Uh, by default, this should be on 30, make sure this is on 60. Resolution in game, this can go from 360p to 480 720 1080 and then all the way up to 4k uh this is going to be a very very large file size you can have the bit rate all the way up to 130 and if you record a 20 minute thing at 4k at 130 bit rate that's literally 20 gigabytes like what <laughs> i like to change my things in game and then i have around 60 bit rate and obviously like i said one minute 30 which is a lot more doable and that should cover it for your screen recordings and everything notifications uh i have not had trouble with doing this this essentially whenever you clip something or something like it'll a little uh a little pop-up will come up here saying a recording has been saved and that way you can confirm that you're started and saved the recording because, oh my lord, so many times when I was, like, when I had these notifications off, I would record, like, an hour, an hour and a half long session. And I was there just sitting for an hour and a half and it wasn't recording. So, you guys make sure that the notif notification settings are kind of on like this. Uh, you can specify them if you would like, but for me, that is what has worked best. And that is going to conclude this video. I know it was really short. My videos lately have been shorter but I don't really like stretching out videos long. I figure, I find them very annoying and it just, it's just like when you could get to the point much sooner, why would you stretch out a video? If you guys found this video helpful or you ended up using the settings that I showed you, please consider giving a like on the video and using code X24 in the Fortnite item shop if you're not already. This greatly supports me and, and allows me to continue making content for you guys on YouTube. And I will see you all in my next video.